Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning uh, when I'm filming this, but I was actually thinking about people who sit a lot of the time, so this might be really relevant to you in your working days. Of course, not everyone works Monday to Friday anyway, a lot of people work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, if, working or not, you're spending a lot of time sitting, and especially if you're doing things in front of you, like being on a computer or a laptop, these uh, stretches um, may be helpful. So, start by bringing mindfulness to yourself, to your movement, to your breath, to your body. So, wherever you're sitting, try and sit tall. Now, I'm on a, a, just a, a standard chair, and what I suggest you do is sit on a chair where your back can be tall, your back can be long your spine nice and straight and so if your legs dangle <laughs> then having something under your feet is a good idea I've got my socks on because um, I'm on my yoga mat so I either have bare feet or socks on but it's no problem if you've got your shoes on especially if you work you may need a cushion behind you or to scooch forward slightly just to bring um, a good long position to your spine so you're not adding any extra tension then just arrive in your space this might just be a coffee break space but it's the space that's in your body in your mind in your head okay maybe soften and close the eyes bring your awareness to your breath notice how your breath feels and notice how your body feels Just try and extend the inhale and the exhale a little. Just slowing it down. And with every exhale, just try bringing a bit more softness to the body. It might be to your shoulders, it might be to your jaw. Check you're not gripping, gritting your teeth together. And allow yourself to breathe naturally. So we're going to try a couple of things. First of all, just take your gaze in front. Make sure you're not sticking your head out. Just check where it is, retract it, stick it out, retract it to your chin and work out where is a good neutral position and then just tuck it a little further in. Then turn your gaze and your head just a little bit over to one side, to the left side. And in this position, we're going to take a gentle nod. So inhale up, exhale down. Keeping the chin tucked in a little, don't let it stick out. Inhale up, exhale down. Come back to neutral, take it a little bit further. Keep it tucked in, not sticking out. Watch for the back of the neck. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Lovely. Bring it back to center. Take that over to the right side. So first take the gaze and turn the head. You're not turning the body, it's just the head and the neck. Inhale up. Exhale. Give a gentle nod. Inhale up. Exhale down. Come back to that central point and take it a little further. Over to the right. Turn. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then just come back to neutral. Just pause. Notice how you feel. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of your body. Okay, next, we're going to take the head over to the left side so as though your ear is heading to your shoulder. So you're not cranking it over. Be gentle with yourself. But feel a bit of a stretch down the right side. And then with your left hand, take it out to the side and over the top of the head. You're not pulling you're just adding a little tension. Listen to your body. 
and breathe. Then take the right arm out to the side. Notice the sensations. Then as you inhale, turn the right palm and lift the chin. As you exhale, come back. As you inhale up, exhale back. Two more. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. And bring the arm back in and allow your head back in. Just pause, reset, take it to the other side. So take the head over to the right, bring the right arm out and across the head. Remember you're not um, pulling, it's just a bit of extra tension, there shouldn't be any pain, but you should feel some degree of stretch down that left side. Take the arm out, as you inhale, palm up, chin up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, two more, inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale up, exhale down, allow the arm in, Allow the head back. It's always good to help your head to come back. Just have a little shake and come back to neutral. Okay, something slightly different. I'm going to take, sweep the arms out to the side and above and behind the head. Interlace your fingers and so that you're putting some pressure on the head. But tuck your chin in a little and you'll feel... Um, the pressure of your hands on your head, your head on your hands. Keep your elbows out to the sides and you'll feel your shoulder blades pulling back. And release. Just take some shoulder rolls, one and the other, and feel the sensations down your back. Now we're going to do something called the tray. So. Hands out as though you're holding a tray. You're going to take the hands out to the side so there's a tray each. So you've got to keep your palms flat. Take them up and above your head. Fingertips come to touch. Back round, down the front. Fingertips come to face under the arms. Tray goes out to the side. Tray comes back in. Fingertips touch. Sweep it out. Up to the top of the head. And as you do that, try and bring some movement to your spine, so you're arching round and you're coming back. Lifting through the chest and coming back. You can feel those uh, cat-cow movements in your spine as you do this, but you're adding in extra movement at the shoulders. And come to rest. This time, I want you to take your um, left thumb up and reach it out. Now, in this position, you notice that your shoulder actually comes forward. So without bending your elbow, I want you to bring your shoulder back. I'll just turn to the side so you can see. So shoulder is forward, bring it back. So it's moving back into its socket. One of the problems that you have if you're doing work all day on a table or a computer or repeatedly or even at night, um, that you're ending up in this position and causing tension across your shoulders. So do it the other side, right hand, thumb out, bring it back, out, bring it back. Bring them both in, bring them back. Feel the shoulders move backwards. Okay, let that go. But using some of that principle, take the arms to cactus, like when we do goddess pose. And in from here, scooch the hands up and overhead so that your elbows stay in line with your body. They're not coming forward. Fingertips come almost to touch. They can touch if you want to. And then encourage the arms back. You're lifting through the chest, pushing the elbows back, 
letting the arms come down and squeezing the shoulder blades together, allowing that shoulder blade on each side to slide down your back, feeling those shoulder blades press together all the way down. Bring them back up and pushing the shoulder blades together all the way down. Just take some gentle movements, release any tension and we'll come to stand. You may have noticed that I haven't got my uh, chair on my main yoga mat. I try not to keep and <laughs> put the chair on this mat because I love this mat so much, but it is on a blanket. But I have another yoga mat behind anyway. So yes, you might be at work, but you still should take some time to stand up. So we'll come to mountain pose, which you'll notice we do nearly every time we do any practice at all. Toes can be together or feet just hip width apart. Lift one foot up lift the other up just find your center of gravity find where your mountain is and then come to rest lift the kneecaps a little engaging the quads strong through the body shoulders down and back hands to the side and feel that line of energy right through the body through the top of the head i'm going to do one more pose one more yoga posture while we're here called chair so, I'm turning to the side so that you can see. We're going to bend the knees. Again, you can keep your feet hip width apart, or it's, traditionally you'd have your toes together. I prefer my feet to be hip width apart. You're going to bend the knees, but keep the weight in the heels. You don't want to rock forward into the toes. Bend the knees. Don't stick the behind out. You want to keep it tucked in. And then as you inhale, sweep the arms up and breathe notice your breath notice your body you may bring your hands to heart center i'll turn around and face you and release come back into chair sweep the arms up hands to heart center keeping the knees bent in the direction of the toes but the weight into the heels don't let the sit bones stick out too much behind. And breathe, feel your quads heat up a little. And release. Give a little shimmy, give a little shake. And coffee break over. Okay. Maybe soften and close the eyes. Bring your awareness to your breath. Notice how your breath feels and notice how your body feels. You can go back to whatever it was that you were doing before. See you next time.